Good day everybody, it's Max, and welcome back to Transport Fever 2 in the Maritimes, here in episode 7. That's right, we're going to give St. John a little bit of stuff. We gave Fredericton uh, some brick, and uh, St. John and Halifax are the only two left that have no, no, uh, no items coming into the city. So we're going to actually try and switch that over now, and uh, let's see if we can't get a little fuel coming into St. John. And uh, to make that happen, turns out we have a train line all over the place, uh, running, uh, running some freight now for Fredericton. Uh, we can probably use that same line to uh, expand our St. John operation. So let's do that. Well, of course, here we are, and uh, we might as well start with the accountant, because the accountant uh, likes money, and I like money, and we all like money. So money is good. Uh, of course, uh, the line seemed to be doing pretty good. Uh, we've up when we upgraded the trucks. I haven't removed any of them yet, and they're still making lots of money. <laughs> I mean, I mean now the Amherst line's making three million a year now. Uh, you know, uh, two and a half million for that Port Hawkesbury brick line. Uh, you know, so. I was going to remove some of the trucks, but I've left them alone for now. Now, obviously, this would not continue. This 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 kind of pace will not continue. I would think what's happened here is is um, again some almost all of these lines had a space in them, right? Where there was between the last truck out and the first truck, there was probably a space of like anywhere from 10 to 30 vehicles where you could fill that in. And what it, what's happened now is, now we've put the faster trucks on with the bigger loads. Well, the bigger loads are bringing in more money and the faster trucks are now have closed that space up. So any lines I had space in uh, are probably done that way. Uh, I noticed I forgot a line, uh, so we're gonna do that right now. <laughs> poor, poor Digby. I spelled him wrong, and then I forgot to upgrade his trucks. Oh my goodness, he's literally, I mean, poor, poor guy. Poor guy, right? Uh, there, there you go. I was sure, and see, I even said, you know, that I tried to upgrade that, and it said zero. I was sure, but anyway, they're upgraded now. Uh, they're going to be happy, because them horses would have been slowing everybody down on them lower lines, so all of these profits should continue to go up. Uh, let's have a look at our newest, uh, our newest line, uh, the stone line up here uh, for Fredericton. Now, uh, there were two minor issues from the end of the last episode that I didn't notice. Uh, one, I, for, uh, I had put the station in here, uh, but I didn't actually attach it to the quarry. So the quarry didn't, couldn't dump in its stone into the, uh, <laughs> into the train station. Uh, the other problem was in Fredericton, I, uh, I had the station hooked up. Well, of course I did because it's a passenger station. Um, but the stone was too far away. Uh, if I bring up um, just to do this. Yeah, so the stone was too far away from the station. Uh, there was only like two buildings that were getting stone. So yes, the line became active, but it was like, okay, I'll take six of your stone. Um, but, you know, nobody else could reach it. Uh, so what I've had to do was, of course, I, and you would do this almost in every town you have. Um, I've put in a cargo terminal, uh, a, a truck cargo station, to then dump the stone, uh, the dump the brick into it. And I have three trucks driving around now taking that stone over to the actual brick people to uh, drop off. Uh, this line's making a, a nice little tidy profit. Uh, these three little trucks are making $86,000. Now, these kinds of lines, you should not worry about making money. Okay, yeah, it's, it's nice that I'm making money on mine, but um, your, uh, your end feeder trucks should be your loss leaders to make sure your trains run profitable. Um, trains trains will make you bucket loads of money but they can lose you lots of money uh really easy and so if you need uh feeder lines to get them in or out using trucks use those as loss leaders to make the trains profitable so if i need to put in five more trucks to keep this platform empty so as it can keep hauling as much brick up here as it can on them trains, I will do that. Yes, I might lose fifty, sixty thousand dollars a year on the brick line, but I'll make 
three, four million dollars a year on the train line. And uh, that is where, I mean, don't get me wrong. I, you know, you know, I like having all blue numbers, right? <laughs> blue numbers are cool. Uh, you know, we like we like blue numbers, yeah, right? Right? Like, I mean, that 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 brick line's making three, almost over three million. Um, you know, so we like we like all the blue numbers, but I will take loss leaders uh, to keep them train lines profitable uh, because the train lines will make a lot of money. Um, when, when they're mixed lines like that, if you need a truck train line, sacrifice the truck's profit for the train's profit. Okay. Uh, today's lesson is going to be on um, St. John. Because uh, poor St. John, uh, you know, um, I feel bad. I, I really do. Um, yes, St. John and Halifax, they're still not hooked up, uh, and I'd like to get them some fuel. Well, we, we, we have this train line that comes down here now, right? And sure enough, boom, we got, we got oil right here. Ta-da, look at that. Um, now, we're going we're gonna to make some money. We're going to make some money on this, and it's going to be hard. It, I'll tell you right now. It is going to be hard to make money on this. Um... Uh, yep, that's, it's going to be a thing. Uh, and the reason is, is that, um, it's, the, the, the drop-offs are a little bit quirky. Um, so this raw oil down here in the lower left, uh, our best shot, of course, is to take this refinery here, just below St. John. Well, the problem with that is, is again, it's a two-to-one conversion ratio, right? So we're going to, um... Uh, we're going to lose a little bit, but I've got a plan. I don't know if it's going to work, but i got a plan. Because <laughs> uh, we have two oil wells here. Uh, and, uh, you know, I mean, the distance here isn't too bad. So I'm going to try, I'm going to try, uh, I'm going to try a double shunt. All right. Uh, we'll see how it goes. Now, I would drag it up to this fuel refinery here, but we're going to, but again, if I'm going to try the double shunt, that means I should be getting full refinery fuel, and I'm going to want to make money on it <laughs> because that's what I do. I make money, and if you're if you're here to watch loss, you you have found the wrong channel, Mister, because we want to make money. And it turns out, out here in the middle of the woods is a fuel refinery station. Um, now, of course, that fuel refinery station, of course, um, uh, Edmonton and Woodstock would love to have a piece of that pie, right? Um, which is why I'd like to try this double shunt, uh, because we can bring some fuel back to St. John, uh, but we might be able to siphon off a little bit of that fuel for these guys here on the left. I know that's pretty crazy. I, this is a, a ambitious goal. Um, but right now, St. John is my goal today. These guys I'll deal with later because they already got a thing. Uh, and we're going to, and a little bit of prep work here. Uh, for Halifax Dartmouth because Halifax is getting all crazy all of a sudden trying to build a bunch of houses where I don't want them to uh, and we, we got to stop that. that that's just a no-no so we're gonna we're, we may have to do a little bit of cleanup there at the start of next episode uh, let's get on with this so uh, first things first uh, we need uh, the rail we need the buildings we need the cargo stations uh, I need these to be at least 240 uh, because uh, that's the no container areas. Stop with that stuff. Gee whiz. Um, yep. Uh, so we need to spin this around. Zoom. And we need to come in here. Ooh, collision is never good. Uh, but you know what? That's all right. We'll. What we'll do is we'll. Uh, we'll do. Hmm. How do we want to do this? You're, are you going to give me the connection without building a road? I. I mean, I'll take it if you'll, you'll give it to me. Cool. Um. Yeah, all right. We should be all right. Now, tracks. Uh, how convenient. Look at this. We just happen to have this railroad track here, and uh, <laughs> that's cool. Uh, so we're going to take this track. We're going to go this way for a while. No on that contemporary stuff. Let's just get rid of that right now for this episode so I don't forget it. Uh, and we're going to take this second one and come down this way. Excellent. Now, uh, where are we? Uh, that's a pretty straight shot, actually. I kind of like it. I'm liking it. Okay, so uh, let's uh, let's just go for it. I think um, it's pretty flat land here, so I'm not gonna save any money really for, uh, for doing that. Boom! There we go. Uh, we'll drag the other one down. Yep. Let's go. All right. 
And uh, right about here somewhere. Sure. Now. We have this second oil refinery here. I'm probably not going to have to hook it in yet. But I probably will soon enough. Right? Uh, so what will happen is we're going to double shunt this. So what's going to happen is this oil is going to get picked up, dropped off. We're going to come back again, pick up oil, drop off, then go. Then, then we're going, right? We're going off to do the, uh, you know, the, 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 the flame fuel stuff. Uh, but we got to get into this uh, depot first. Um, so we're going to need another, uh, another, another train station here. Uh, yep. And, uh, of course, we got to kind of keep an eye on its curvature because I need it to come back up and meet uh, with this, uh, this rail line. So we're going to do this. Uh, and this is going to get, uh, this is going to get a little hectic in here. So, uh, that's for sure. Now, uh, we're going to come up here and we're going to break off and come in. Uh, dun, 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 dun. Um, no, wrong thing. There we go. That's what I want. I want train track, train tracks, tracks, trains. In fact, you know what? I'm going to actually upgrade this uh yes i am going to upgrade this i could leave it as a single track but uh uh just for uh just for a little uh ease of use i'm going to do this and we're gonna run the second cargo platforms down this side okay looks good now <laughs> um now we want to uh crisscross off playing crisscross here uh, let's uh, let's do this and this is where we're gonna come off this way I'd like to keep a little bit of speed up so sure that looks good um, and then we're gonna come and have you come off excellent now uh, again uh, there's no speed contest here or I'm not dealing with any real hard terrain here on this map so there we go uh, and then I need a crisscross here. Uh, yep. Because you're going to need to go back. Right? We need this train to go back one time. And then get out of here. Right? Um, now, there should be... Now, I, I guess really I didn't need this second platform. But you know what? It's in now. It's done. It's a done deal. <laughs> it's done. And that's it. Uh, so we're going to have it. Uh, now we got to get back out onto this track. Uh, pretty quick. Uh, luckily, the speed is going to be slow here because um, it, it, uh, these will be stopped in to drop their fuel off, switch around. So the speed's going to be a little slow coming out of here anyway, so I don't need this to be like, you know, rocket speed. Um, but we would kind of like to have it, uh, you know, geared up a little bit here. Uh, I got to come off of this track, and it'd be nice to build up the speed. Yeah, like that. See? Zoom! And we just take right off. There we go. Uh, and uh, I will double track this down just because I've already got the double track in there. Again, there should be never a train coming down this way. But I say that and, you know, uh, later on I might have a train hauling raw oil from somewhere else and need to use this processing plant. Which then all of a sudden, uh oh, now I need a thing, right? So, um, yes. And uh, just to make sure of that even, we'll just do this. Mm, I know. Now, anyway, now that we've got that kind of figured out, right? So we're going to come down here for the raw oil, drop off. More raw oil, drop off. Let's go. And then we got to get up north. Uh, so this here is where I'm going to do the little bit of zip zipping with the, uh, with the zip zipping stuff. <laughs> uh, because this boring line part up here uh, gets pretty boring until I get to the fuel station. So uh, let's, uh, let's do the cut here and I'll bring you right back. Okay, now uh, with our little zip, 
uh, I'll put this station in uh, since we're up here. Um, and then we'll, uh, I'll uh, just quickly go back to review everything we did. Uh, so, building. Uh, we need a fuel station. Station fuel. Back to one track, 240. Looks good. Do, do, do. Um, sure. I might have to flatten this track out a little bit more a little later, but this will do for now, probably. Now, uh, tracks. Um, yeah, is there, where are these tracks going to go? Well, it turns out these tracks are probably going to go up this way a little later to try and catch this lumber and this, this ore. So, okay, I'm actually okay with leaving it with a little curvy. <laughs> so... Uh, for now, uh, a little curvy means we're going to do something like this. Um, this road here isn't very busy, so I'm not too worried about that. Uh, and somewhere right around there is probably where it's going to go eventually. And uh, where's my second one? There we go. It's a little hard to see with this, uh, with this darker, older track. Uh, now, uh, and of course, we'll be upgrading all this at some point in time. Now, of course, we got to have this uh, crazy uh, road configuration here. <laughs> uh, now, again, I'm not worried about the speed coming into the oil. Well, I mean, I'd like to keep the speed up coming into the oil processing. Uh, the speed coming out isn't too bad because your train's always going to be slow when it first leaves the station. So, I mean, you're never worried about that one. Anyway, uh, let's see if we can't get this up in here. And, uh, whoa, just uh, take it easy there, big guy. Uh, and we'll do that. And this station is connected, right? You bet. Good. Now, uh, what did we do? Uh, well, in this particular case, um, we of course came up the coast here. Now remember, I have two sets of passenger lines for the future. The current passenger line running around New Brunswick uh, is the first two tracks. And then this is kind of my future project track of running we'll call it the Via Rail Line, from the north of New Brunswick down to Halifax. Uh, this means, uh, of course, I needed the third set of lines to be my uh, freight lines. And they're running up here. Uh, doo -dee doo doo Life is good. Uh, but I don't want... Yes, uh, down there by Moncton, I do have the passenger line and the freight line crossing. Um, but you really don't want to do that too much. Uh, and really, the, the passenger train... Uh, that, that one passenger line that we, we extend up here into northern New Brunswick probably isn't going to have too much passenger traffic on it. But the passenger lines overall are busier and need to keep going all the time to keep the timing right. So anytime you can run your freight lines avoiding crossings, uh, that's what we do. And that's what this is doing here. So I need this freight line to go through the center of the province uh, here in New Brunswick. So I've done a little diversion off it. And then, uh, zoom, we made a bridge. And of course, to do that, I dropped the lower half by two. Uh, the upper half I raised by two. And that gives me more than enough clearance to get this bridge in. Um, and of course, by backing it way off on either side, the slope is really gentle, so the trains don't lose uh, speed uh, through the whole process, and that's what we want there. Now, if I need... Now, of course, we have ore up here that I'm going to want a little later. Um, I can still run... The nice part is, is I can still run freight lines uh, up the coast uh, to go to Bathurst and join them back up. Because now we got this bridge here, you know, that's fine, right? So... For now, uh, this is good. This is really good. Uh, now, one last little problem, and that is St. John. Of course, the Y split is, bef uh, this part of the Y split is before St. John and not after. Uh, and I'm not, and I'm not going to, I'm not going to move this Y split on the right to be after, because most of the cargo is going to want to keep the speed. But in this case, I do want, I do need uh, the cargo to get dropped off and then for it to swing back around to go pick up more fuel. So to make that happen, this is going to get uh, basically a dedicated turnaround line um, like this. Uh, and again, it does not need to be fast because, I mean, they are literally going to be coming out of the station 
to do this, right? They're coming out of the station and switching over to go down that way. I wouldn't, I could even keep this old bridge because chances are the train will be doing about 40 kilometers an hour, uh, you know, 50, 50 kilometers an hour tops or 30 miles an hour coming out of this bridge. So I can just keep that and it's perfectly fine. Um, yes, so I, uh, I'm pretty, I'm actually pretty happy with that. Boom. So, and I don't need it. I don't need this double tracked, right? The train's going to come in here, drop off his fuel, and then just swing around to the uh, to the right hand lane on the way out. So I like there's no train, I don't think. <laughs> um, uh, let me have a look here. Tools, huh? Is, is there any? Oh, wouldn't you know? There's tools right there. <laughs> um, I was going to say I don't think I'll ever need an inbound line, uh, and then just noticed I'll need an inbound line. All right, so uh, let's. <laughs> Let's put it in right now, because uh, it looks like one day the tools are going to come back up this way. Um, and, uh, yep, we'll need to inbound them uh, probably into St. John. So, <laughs> um, yep, funny how some things happen sometimes. It just happens. There you go. So, them tools may actually need to do that. Uh, and, again, I, I mean, I could easily now take out this line, but because it looks a little repetitive, but it's not because other trains will avoid St. John altogether and not get tied up by its traffic uh, and come down here for whatever resource they, especially when we start running like the ore trains, right? Ore trains, they're not gonna wanna be messing around with St. John. <laughs> so it's a little, uh, this is just a little funny. Okay, let's, let's get a line in here, right? Because time ticks on, time ticks on. Uh, we want a new line. Um, can I have a new line? Wow, that was a little slow. What's with the blue? You're always trying to give me the blue. No, I don't want your blue. Uh, do this. Okay. Um, raw fuel. Yes. Uh, we will now take that to here. And you're right. Uh, I want you to come back to here. Uh, just relax. Now, it's doing that because it's like, you don't need to do that. And I'm like, yes, I do, because you don't know what I want to do yet. Oh, yeah. Boom. Bet you weren't expecting that right now now i want you to go all the way up here wow look at that that's a now that's a train line isn't it and we're not done yet we still gotta put another station in but look at that that's a beautiful two-way line look at that that comes all the way down here uh merges in with the stone line for a bit that's and that's what we want right this this is a freight line but now i want it to drop off here in St. John. Look at that. And it's going to drop off and swing around and life is good. Uh, will this all work? Who knows? But hey, the stuff I've been making so far seems to work, so we're all right. Uh, this is going to be the St. John um, fuel train line. Yeah, this is going to be crazy. <laughs> now, uh, let's see where we need that fuel. Did we even get, are we even getting close to town to need getting this fuel? Okay, well, that's actually pretty cool. Uh, because, like, the fuel station, like, the train station is going to hit half of this fuel. Uh, that's awesome. Uh, that saves me a lot of headache, actually. Uh, but we're going to, we're going to put in a truck station anyway. Um, right about, um, do, do, do. Oh, let's let's put it up here. Let's do that. Now, uh, of course, we've done that, so now I've got to have a, a, a truck depot. And I'm so sorry, houses, uh, but you are not important. <laughs> you are not important for this operation. So we're gonna spend a little money uh, to get rid of you. And I don't know if that bus station is gonna be in the way. I really hope it's not. Uh, I do want these to be 20 long. Yes, please go around the bus station. I would really like it. Ooh, you know what? That's like, that's gonna be real ugly. I just realized that. Um, having buses stop right in front of your unloading station is probably not the best maneuver, Max. Uh, you're gonna need to fix that. Yes, I am. Watch this. All right, let's take a cheap little road. We're just gonna cut that off here for a second. So that way we don't destroy any of those houses. Boom. And we're going to leave that road there for a second. Uh, unfortunately, I am going to have to spend a few dollars now to fix this. So we're going to get rid of that. Now we're going to put this truck station in. Yep. 
we're going to put over in this part of town. Uh, yes, unfortunately, this means you guys are gone. Uh, <laughs> yeah, sorry, but I need to keep it away from that bus terminal. Um, yep, done. Uh, yeah, I'm sure there's a complaint somewhere. Um, what are what are what are you complaining about exactly? Uh, the St. John bus line cannot get to where it's got to go. Really? Is that is that is that something? Um, cargo stop cannot be used by passengers. I don't. What are you talking about? Don't don't, don't. <laughs> listen. I don't know what it is you're talking about, but Mad yeah, Madison Street. I I don't want them to use the cargo terminal. I want. Bring up the bring up the lines for a second. Um, what what are you doing? No 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 no. Uh, why did you move that? Okay, I'll fix that in a second. Uh, <laughs> I, here I am. I'm talking to myself. Uh, we're not getting anything done. Uh, so grab this little road. Uh, and I didn't realize it was that tiny of a road. Uh, yeah, put some curvature on that thing, man. Like holy smokes, you know, make it a little bit nice anyway. And then bring that over here. Again, I'd like to keep this bus lane wide open uh, so buses can line up here if we need to later on and avoid this street here. Uh, now we can take out this little repair road I did. And now look, see, ta-da, we didn't lose all them houses. It only cost us a little money. Uh, let's see if I can't fix up this line because it'll drive me crazy. You, sir, uh, manage the line. Yep. Uh, Madison Street. No, Madison, no, I want Madison Street here. No, Madison Street. Add station. Madison Street here. Uh, I want that street, not this one. Yeah, see? That <laughs> better, right? Uh, I don't know what it... Where did you get this idea that you could just flip-flop my uh, stations around like that? I've never seen that happen before in the game ever, so I don't know where that's coming from. Uh, but anyway, we'll, we're, 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 we're going to take it. Uh, so, now, uh, truck line. Um... Uh, all of that for a truck line. Boy, we wasted a bunch of time on that. Yes, you can use your blue now. Holy smokes, you, you really want this blue. Um, so, this is going to be the St. John um, uh, Fuel uh, Truck Line. Done. Look at that. Uh, and we'll even throw a few trucks on there, like right now. Yes, here. Uh, buy three trucks. Uh, you know what? I'm going to buy four trucks. I'm being generous. And we're going to put them on the St. John fuel line. And, of course, they're going to lose money because, uh, of course, they are. And uh, <laughs> now let's uh, let's get some trains running because uh, we're going to need some trains running on this. I would say probably for that kind of distance, uh, I would probably do four trains. Uh, so rail, buildings, put a thing on here. Zoop. Boop. Uh, we're going to need some signals, too. Um... I mean, yes, uh, luckily we're running into parts of the line that is already signaled. Uh, and I probably don't need the signals right right away, but uh, yeah, I guess we're better put in some signals. Uh, so, uh, you need to stop coming down. You may need to stop. Um, you may need to, to stop going up. Right there somewhere. Um, and I need to take this signal out temporarily and put this signal back. Uh, to here and to here and then move it up here a little bit move that one up here a little bit uh, we can now run signals down here uh, I probably don't need any more than this I'm actually overkilling this uh, yep do that okay that's cool uh, then we got some signals coming in here now we do kind of need a little bit of signalage in here I again I'm not going to be running a lot of trains here but we will put the signals in anyway. Uh, yep, you need to do that. You need to do this. You need to do that. Um, this is gonna get all crazy in here, so let's take this signal out. There, that way if uh, there's crisscrossing going on in here, you all have to wait. So, uh, yeah, because we wouldn't want a train to get stuck in here and then have a train come here and couldn't get across, and vice versa, right? So that's why we want to do that. Um, you're going to have to stop. You're going to have to stop. Yep. Uh, but we want you to keep going. Yeah, you keep going. You keep going. That actually works out really good for me. I'm happy with that. Uh, you may need to stop. You may need to stop. 
you may need to keep uh, stop, but I need you all to keep going on the opposite sides until you get to your next set, next set of signals. Uh, here, you may need to stop. You may need to stop. You may need to stop. But again, I don't want you to stop anymore until you get uh, pretty far down the road. Um, and you're not even going to stop until you get into the into the station. So that's fine. We'll see how that turns out. Okay, uh, we got lots of signals running up here. Um, now we're gonna be having more trains on here. That's always a little concerning. Uh, so you know what, uh, let's do that. Uh, sure, we'll even run a couple more on here. And this gets okay, this should be all right. Uh, this is a bad setup. This is the bad signal setup, but we're not gonna worry about it. Um, and then uh, we're getting into the northern parts, uh, so this should be pretty, uh, pretty slow going for a bit. Uh, just because I can't really afford to do anything with it right now. Uh, yep, yeah, we got the signal right. It looked a little uh, flaky there for a minute. Uh, yep, yeah, keep on going. Do, 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 all the way up here. And singles cost you maintenance, right? That's why I'm always kind of leery about putting too many down. Uh, but you need enough because trains aren't cars. And cars, you know, tr cars can change lanes. Cars can stop and go. Cars can do lots of things. Trains can't, right? So you've got to have the signals uh, to handle them, right? Uh, and of course, uh, now you would usually not put a signal just on the other side of the road. Uh, if you're going to stop a train, stop it before the road. Um, and then do that, do that, do that on this side of the road. Uh, and of course, I'm, I'm literally just, I just put a signal up there and that's going nowhere. But that's okay for now. Um, we'll move this down here a little bit. I think that's good. Okay, now let's put some trains on here. Uh, sorry for all the moving around really quick. Uh, but we are way over on time. And we want to get this at least started. Now, we're going to need a few of these. That's for sure. Um, give me uh, the trains. Uh, yup. Do a thing. Uh, cargo. We want the biggest oil tanker you got. Yes. Thank you. Now, the nice part about this is that tankers will haul all three types of fuel. So, unlike our brick line, which actually, you know, is a mixed consist line of ore in the, in the gondolas and then brick on the flat cars... I just need a bunch of tanker cars, right? That's pretty cool. So, um, I don't know. Uh, let's say 120. Uh, yep. Uh, that'd be 10 cars. ka -ching! And we're going to put that on the St. John fuel train line. Done. Let's uh, start this up, get it out of the hopper, and then uh, have a look at it. Hey, good morning there, sunshine. By the way, are we going to make any fuel? Hey, we looks like we are. Uh, well, we're going to transport here in a second. Just relax. It's all good. As long as you put a little fuel on this uh, train station. There we go. Look at that. Yes, sir. Here, we're going to... That's right. Uh, turns out they got some fuel for you, big guy. Look at that. That's perfect. I'll even take a screenshot of it. There we go. You're going to pick up that... Uh, how much of that fuel are you actually going to get out of this, uh, this turn? Well, you got 11. Right? Now, of course, uh, um, he's going to do the back and forth thing here. So, of course, uh, let me get out of this for a second. It's going to do the flash screen. Uh, we're going to speed this up a little bit. Uh, I'm, and what I'd like to do is at least be able to demonstrate for you about how this is going to work. So he's going to take his 11 fuel. Uh, and he is just going to run up the road here. Do, 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 do. He's doing a good job. Look at him go. He's doing a great job. Yep. He's going to run up here, drop this off. And then he's going to turn right around and go away again. <laughs> he's like, he's going to go right back down there for more fuel. Um, and if everything works right, this is awesome. Um... And, uh, oh, I don't care about how much the signals are costing me a month. Thanks, but no thanks. I don't, I don't need to know that information. Uh, yep, you come whipping in here, my friend. Uh, let's, uh, let's call up a, a train line. Yeah, look at that. He's 
gonna drop off. He's like, yeah, I'll drop that off. Now I'm gonna go get some more. Perfect, that's exactly what he's supposed to do uh, as, we, uh, as we double dip uh, into this oil. And uh, uh, how much is down here now? Okay, right? Uh, so <laughs> it's funny how the game is doing this. So, uh, so the first shipment out is the first one, and then the second shipment is the second one. Now, I'm, I'm glad it's keeping it pretty even, all right? Because, again, it was always one of my big worries. It's always one of my big worries about this is that when you use um, a factory of any type for double dipping or more, uh, it, it doesn't play favoritism very well. So, you know, it, uh, it tends to be, get a little messy. Uh, but now that's a, now that's a load, right? There's 120 right there. Boom. That's what I'm talking about. Um, so uh, we're probably going to want to stick. Cause see, now he's going to drop off and he's going to take off, right? This is his second. This is his second drop off. So as soon as he does the second drop off, we're going to buy that. We're going to buy a second train. Cause he's going to drop off and leave. He's like, I'm out of here. Um, uh, why why would you go to the Digby Exchange? What what are you doing? You should not be going. Like what, what what are you doing? I want you to go to one place, and that sir is way up here. Um, Campbellton South. Where are you going? <laughs> like none of that. It, neither one of those is where I want you to go. Um, I need you to go up here to the fuel refinery. Um. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah, Campbellton South. I need you to go to Campbellton South. I need you to take that all the way up there. Very good. You do that. Uh, we need uh, another train. Do that. Go. Right on. Pick up the stuff and drop it off. Uh, but I don't know why it wants to bring eight fuel back here. And, and again, see, this is... And this is always the... I, I know what I want for the complexity of this stuff. But the game can't do the complexity of what I want. Like, I should be able to say, look, don't do anything for Digby Exchange, right? Uh, I should be able to, uh, like, for some reason, or like, okay, if you, if you can't build the logic into the game, at least give me the option to say, you know what? Don't, don't do Digby Exchange. I want all oil going Campbellton South, right? So I'm going to tell you what's going to happen now. He's going to pick that 13 up, and that's going to upset me. <laughs> because that means he can't hold as much oil on his second pickup. Ugh. But we're going to watch this for a second just to see what happens. Where are you, big guy? Here you are. You're coming in here. Yep. You're racing in here like a madman. Uh, okay. And you're going to drop off all that sweet, sweet crude. There we go. Yeah, so see, he's picking that up. I don't want him picking that up. Um, you know, no, no, don't, don't, don't wait. Don't, <laughs> do not wait. Uh, but all right, well, you know what? There's not much I can do about that. I will just have to hope uh, that he does that. Anyway, we'll see what happens. I mean, we just, we just made a bucket load of money. <laughs> I mean, it's a thing we just did. Look, um, we only got two trains running. We've already made three million dollars. Uh, so, will we continue to make even more money afterwards? You'll have to see on the next episode. I'm Max. This is Transport Fever to the Maritimes. And I will see you on the next one. Take care.